So I can tell, right? Like, these guys over here, they're screaming, so they must have won some money tonight. And you guys over here, you're like, right, you lost it all. You're like, I had 10 bucks left, and this is the only place in the casino I could get into for that cheap, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I get it, I get it, you know. It's, it's unusual because at my other job, I'm worth a whole lot more than that. <laughs> I'm a, don't judge, I'm a wedding photographer, okay? And uh, that is why, people, that is why I am 33 years old and I am still single. Because I have seen enough mistakes to know that no two people really belong together forever. Okay? Contact me today and allow me to capture that brief, fleeting period in your life. That moment of regret, just so when you look back at your mistake, you're at least gazing at some quality photos of that shit, all right? You get what you pay for, folks. You pay $39.99 a month on eHarmony.com, that's what you get for the rest of your life, $39.99 a month. Now, with the divorce rates where they are, Let's just take a moment to reevaluate my profession. I'm more like a I settled photographer. I settled. You're not the same person you were when we met, photographer. I'm addicted to sex, honey, just not with you, photographer. And for those of you who are here tonight, I'm really just a lazy piece of shit who's going to gamble and drink all our money away. Photographer. But then there's my personal favorite, right? There's that couple that's in denial, you know, that seemingly perfect pair pretending to go down the same path together. Really, those people fucking hate each other, right? And they think that there is only one thing that they can do to save their failing relationship. They have a baby, right? They can't even take care of themselves, but they think that shit's a good idea. Now, do you know what ruins marriages, people? Kids! Kids ruin marriage! I should know! I single-handedly destroyed my parents. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> now, all of my friends have kids. I'm not ever having any. And you know what? When I go over their house, this shit is crazy. It's like mayhem. There is stuff everywhere. She's yanking her hair out. She's screaming and yelling, right? And you know what married people don't have? Sex! They don't have sex, right? My friend's like, yeah, you know, I just really don't feel like it. I mean, we haven't done it since Jax was born. I'm like, the kid's almost two years old. I can't even believe I'm hearing this shit right now. But once the kids go to bed at night and everything settles down, they say to me, Stacy, you gotta have just one. <laughs> now, people, I need one of a lot of things, but a human being growing inside of my body that I am supposed to push out of my vagina and take care of for the rest of my life in exchange for no sex is not one of those things. Now, 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 some of you in the audience, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Look at this couple right here. She hasn't given it up in years, I can tell, right? <laughs> Don't be mad at me, sir. It's not my fault you make stupid decisions. <laughs> See, my parents, they were living the dream before we were born, right? We Money go. in their bank there account. Money in their bank account. They had dinner with friends. They had sleep and sex. Lots of sex, right? Fast forward two kids later, they are living in hell, right? Especially when you get to the teenage years, okay? Those kids, what they do between the ages of 12 and 19 will haunt you for the rest of your life. For example, when I was 14 years old, I came home from school one day, and I decided I'd watch something else besides, you know, Jerry Springer. I said, I'm gonna take that new movie that just came out. Showgirls, way to go, man. So I start rummaging around looking for some blank VHS tapes. And lo and behold, in the back of my, at my parents' attic crawl space, in the dark corner, covered in cobwebs and dust, like some of you ladies out here tonight, I find what I'm looking for. So I pop one in the VCR and booyah, forget that. I just found my parents' porno collection. <laughs> now, I've never seen a porno before, so I'm thinking, 
thinking to myself, man, this is disappointing, right? Like, <laughs> it's old, first of all, it's like from the 70s, you know? <laughs> Uh, everything in the background is brown and orange and yellow, right? It's like shitty angles and poor lighting and it, it just doesn't make any sense. All I can see is some lady's ass up in the air and her mouth like, mm. and I'm like what the hell is this, right? So I grab the remote to turn the TV off and I look back up at it and I'm like, oh my God, dad? <laughs> and there's my mom on the bed. She's got a perm and a giant bush and she's wearing pink leg warmers. Holy fucking shit, my parents made a porno! Right? So I start rummaging back through the box of tapes and I realize some of them are labeled. Now I couldn't see the labels, right? Because I'm 14 years old, so these tapes must be at least 15 years old, but I kind of make out a few of them and one of them's like, go Joe. My mom's name is Joanne. <laughs> Joe blows. <laughs> Mike's in charge. Mike's in charge. <laughs> and that dictated the rest of my teenage years, folks. And they try to blame that shit on me. Right? It was my fault. So fast forward almost 20 years later. Surprise! My parents, they're divorced. I swear it's because they stopped making those tapes, you know? <laughs> And my dad and my mom each got remarried and my father had another child. Now apparently he's not as smart as I thought he was. <laughs> so one day, little four-year-old Colson comes up to me and says, Stacy, have you seen the Mommy Daddy movie? <laughs> and I first, I think I maybe didn't hear it correctly until I look over at my stepmother and she is bright red. And I'm like, what the hell is he talking about? And she's like, <laughs> Your daddy and I'm like, this is not happening. Right? <laughs> when we first got together, we made a sex tape right back to 1999. I go now. Apparently, my father puts this tape in the VCR one night and presses play and falls asleep. And little Colson moseys out into the room and watches the movie. Yeah, great. Just when I thought this kid had a chance, he's gonna turn out to be just as Rich. fucked up as I am. Yeah, way to go. Now my parents are always busting my chops about having kids, right? It never stops. When are you gonna have a baby? Like I haven't made it clear my whole life that I'm really just not, not gonna do it. So that night at dinner, after Colson gives me this little tidbit of information, for 20 years, it's time to let the cat out of the bag. So I look at him and I say, gee, dad, you know, maybe, maybe if I start making my own sex tapes, I'll get pregnant. <laughs> Scared and confused, this poor man looks at me and says, what are you talking about? What? I said, you know exactly what I'm talking about, dad. He says, uh, 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 I said, listen, apparently you have a knack for making home videos. I said, and Colson just saw the second series. <laughs> he says, Jesus Christ, your mother and I, we were kids back then. We were in our 30s. What do you think? I bought that video camera just so I could record Christmas mornings, dance recitals, and birthdays? <laughs> Gee, Dad, no. I mean, I, I can't believe I thought that's what you bought it for. <laughs> so now he's anxious to change the subject, and he turns and looks at me and says, Speaking of that, your birthday's coming up. What, what do you want this year, kid? I said, well, Dad, I'm in my 30s. I'll take a video camera and a pair of pink leggings. <laughs>